yeah. No, I'm sturdy like a milli rocket. Skin clear, still look young. Andy Miller knock his money in my pocket. Don't call me a money pocket. Engine get to rocket. It sound like a thunder rocket. Yeah, I still love my baby even when it's toxic. Crazy like she Britney, but no, she don't shade the knock. No, Russell Wilson, where I get low and stay in the pocket. I get paid and do my dance like a touchdown. Yeah. How do people usually react when they see you on the streets? Uh, I don't pay attention, to be honest. Nothing crazy, really. But sometimes when me and my wife, we travel uh, around Russia, like corners of Russia, you know? That's when people, like, life stops when people see me on the streets. But not in Moscow. People in Moscow just don't care. Nothing extraordinary. When were you born? 1985. So you're uh, 35 right now? Yeah, 35. I wonder how, m how much does your badass look uh, fit your real personality. You know, uh, people tell me that when they look at you, you look so like angry and stuff. But when you start talking, you just a normal, normal guy. And I'm just saying, why would I be angry? I'm a happy guy. I'm living my my dream life, you know, I don't want to spread any negativity or anything like that. There is no need for me to be like hater. What's your favorite show on YouTube? I watch a lot of stuff about running. I'm digging into this uh, sprinting stuff and I'm trying to get more knowledge about it. I'm watching tutorials, I'm trying to get better in uh, sprinting. Talking about these double biceps, uh, have you ever competed? No, I never competed. And before you ask me if I would like to compete, I'd say, you know, uh, when I'm getting leaner and I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I'm like, oh, that's nice, getting excited, you know, but I just don't want to shave it off. All this hair on my body, I had to do it when I was putting a tattoo on and it's, I just hate it. Did you always have this, uh, like, so much hair on your body? Or was it something that happened to you when you started using? I think a little bit of everything, because even when I was a teenager, I, I was having this tendency, plus uh, testosterone, of course. So you're tracking all your numbers, right? The ways that you work with, yeah, like powerlifters do. You know, when you train a lot, like many years, you just uh, start forgetting things. You, you don't remember what weights you used, uh, how many reps you did, and it's very hard to track your progress. I did it like for a couple of years and then I realized uh, I have to track my numbers. For example, today we have shoulders, chest and back and we did the uh, bench press, incline bench press, and now for the lower part of the packs, I'm doing dips. I think it's the best exercise for lower part of the uh, chest ever. Who's your coach? Do you have coach? No. Man, you look kind of too good for a person who's not competing with no coach, you know? You, you have these 3D uh, muscles, delts, your chest. Chest is popping out. Especially nowadays, bodybuilders, there's, they don't have chest as uh, golden era bodybuilders used to have. And your chest is crazy. Chest and back, this is what I'm happy with. And not so much with shoulders. I kind of have to make myself train shoulders. I hate training them. Come on, man, it's so easy. Just a couple of fibers, few raises and they grow. I don't know, I just don't like training them. I try to go for natural exercises with the natural motion, you know what I mean? Like basic anatomy body movements. Yeah, exactly. When we had these uh, COVID restrictions and all the gyms were like 100% closed, I had to go to forests, you know, and these uh, open air gyms with the pieces of wood between my legs, I did dips, I did pull-ups, and I've not only maintained my body mass, I gained. How much do you eat? 4,800 calories. And you actually weigh your food? Yeah, every day I eat the same thing. And what is it uh, in your diet? 
What exactly do you eat? I'm a vegetarian for two years now. Oh, really? We should have studied from this. But I'm not vegan like people might think. It's completely different things. I'm not one of those crazy guys who's eating veggies only, you know, like salads and, and beans and stuff. My diet is based on the low-fat cheese and the cottage cheese. Sometimes I eat eggs, but not too much. Talking about carbs, I uh, bake bread. I bake my own bread every day. Um, pasta, bananas and vareniki. It's uh, Russian uh, ravioli with potato. What is the core of your protein sources? Different. Now I'm changing things around, I'm raising protein up. I've got uh, about 350 grams of protein a day and 600 uh, grams of carbs and about 85 grams of fats. So where do you get your protein from? I told you. It's uh, low-fat cheese and cottage cheese. And that's it? That's all you got? Yeah, uh, cheese is a great source of uh, protein. When I started taking bodybuilding seriously, it happened about seven years ago. First two years I was training naturally. I even had uh, some illusions that I could grow just naturally, just like that. But uh, I don't know, maybe it's possible, but if we talk about uh, being a teenager, 17, 18 years old, when you just uh, having this huge uh, potential of growth. But when you're 27, 28, when your body is kind of start decreasing, uh, kind of start getting old, it's very hard to have any kind of progress, naturally. I think there is too much drama around drugs nowadays. It's just hormones. And uh, all the processes in men's body depend on these hormones. I want to feel fit. I want to be fit up to, I don't know, 60, 70, 80 years old because our body was designed to be strong up to, let's say, 35 years old and then it starts uh, throwing us away. By 35 we're supposed to make kids, pass our genes to new generation and that's it. Nature doesn't need us anymore. I don't want this to happen. That's why I started using it. This is my crib, my uh, tattoo shop. Here's my wife, my wonderful wife. This is the place where we do our art. I hope that you'll see some link down below for my shop where you can check out my works and works of my wife. By the way, she was the one who made this black work on me. I started as a tattoo artist long time ago. It was 2001. Dark times, as I call them, uh, there was no any information, no internet, so we didn't have any ideas how tattoo must look like. So industry was, was not born at that time. Everything was underground. We didn't have any machines. We had to do everything. We used our handmade stuff. And uh, about 2008, I made this my profession. I turned pro. I concentrated on uh, tattoos only. I was growing, I was uh, developing myself, and then I decided to concentrate on this job. Black work, did you come to this like from the very beginning or was it like a long-term process? Funny story, of course I had sleeves back in the day, and then I just covered them up. I had old works, good works, bad works, everything was mixed up. I was making experiments, I was trying some stuff on myself, at some point something started bothering me. I don't even remember who offered that first, but one of the uh, artists, uh, he offered me to cover up my uh, sleeves and I covered most part of my arms. But what you see now, this whole costume, when did we start? Three, two, three years ago. Every morning when I get up, I'm so excited. I'm super happy. Uh, from my look, the way I look, every morning. It's not that common in Russia that people just start getting to know this style, I mean black work. Some people uh, being rednecks, you know, they need some objects, they need something to, to understand, and they hate uh, when they look something that they don't understand. And it's not 
my problem, it's the problem of these people, right? I think that black work will be getting more and more popular. Let's do some pull-ups. I'm trying to do strong, powerful exercises. What do you mean? Like the ones that you can work with big weights? Look, I could have done uh, pull downs, right? And instead of that, I go and do pull ups. Because for me, this exercise is stronger, more powerful. It's, it's less comfortable, you know what I mean? So it's really has to be uh, heavy, like hard to do. This is what makes you grow, right? Yeah, it has to be hard and at the same time I I gotta feel the muscle. My training split is uh, A and B workouts. First day I've got chest, back and shoulders and a little bit of abs and on the B day I've got legs and arms. Numbers on my phone, they keep calling me, calling me. Girlies at my shows, why they all on me? I don't want them no, get them all off me. Say say that for hell, she a cause, she a cause. Four cars deep, we'll come through on the lane night. Chicken spot, wings and fries, we call that a day night. Lights on, so out, I don't have no stage right. Knew that I was built for this forever, ever, ever. All my friends, we ride beamers, we ride pens. Ten times ten, all my friends, it's for real, till the end. Ten times ten, all my friends, we ride beamers. Do you have a training partner? Most of the time I train myself. Usually people don't last more than one month and then they take off. It's too hard for them. Life hack for people who hate training shoulders like I am, who's lazy like I am. Just do one exercise. One compound exercise. I'm going to show you now. And you're pulling it behind your head so that middle parts of the deltoids is getting involved too? Yeah, something in the middle between the push movements and raises. You don't go too far, you go here. Like you raise it here and then you push it. Like I said earlier, I like uh, natural anatomy movements. And this is natural movement. It's, uh, it looks like we're grabbing a stone and we're trying to throw it. Something that nature was getting us prepared for. We've got our arm going behind, so by doing this movement we're getting all the shoulder fibers involved, all the delt fibers. It's for, for those who don't have enough time for workouts, like they're getting tired at work and stuff. If you have an hour, three hours a week, that's all I got. And I, and I grow, and I have progress. You don't have to work out five, six days a week. I don't do it. You have to find your own balance that lets you grow. You even do abs? Oh, really? I was going to ask you about it. Yeah, man's physique has to have uh, abs. I'm a man's physique now. What is your height and weight? I've got smaller. I'm 240 now and 183 centimeters. 35 years old. Yeah, 35. 
For those who don't like doing vacuums, I'm going to show you some alternate exercise that getting this inner part of abs stronger and you'll see results uh, real quick. Sucking that shit in. <laughs> 